Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my noobs guide for Dark Souls 3. Alrighty, well, I am at the profane capital, and I'm going to go and fight the final Lord of Cinder, which is not actually the final one, but it's the final one of the three that you need to kill so that I can progress to the next area. Although I could have actually progressed there a lot sooner, I don't really recommend that if you are new to the game i think that you should do it in this order because this is really like the legit order that you're supposed to do it in to actually feel like you completed the game the way that they wanted you to but uh yeah i don't know it's something that i would definitely recommend trying maybe on your second playthrough especially on ng plus because you're a lot more powerful on ng plus okay let's kill that bastard real quick pick this item up and let me go get this item and then i'm gonna make basically a little jump it's a shortcut like if you die against this boss or whatever pretty much there's a room down here and there's like a gargoyle and there's like a whole bunch of ladies and stuff i don't think there's anything down there though so i'm going to skip it let me know though like if i'm messing up or if i miss something just tell me in the comments but from what i remember there's nothing in that room and if you take this shortcut you can pretty much skip that room all together you're just going to take a bunch of damage from these bastards trying to hit me. Okay, pick this up. And that is a great bow, so that's pretty sick. Let me go ahead and hop down now, slowly. And there's going to be several items I can grab. I should probably go and deal with the enemies first, though. Otherwise, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. But whatever, who cares, right? Okay, get away from this shit and run, 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 run. Now, I'm going to try to do a little bit of an epic battle between the enemies because, if I remember right, there's actually two Mimic Chests coming up and a whole bunch of enemies, so it might be actually kind of fun to see what will happen if I summon, uh, well, not summon them, but if I attack the Mimics and then lure the Mimics basically to all the enemies and let them kill each other. That would be interesting. Basically, if you go to the right over here, this is where the mimics are going to be and there's a whole bunch of ladies and there's also going to be um, a gargoyle that's going to come down so let's go ahead and attack one attack two and run for it basically and hope that the mimics will fucking attack okay that's a legit chest oh god what am i doing open it grab it just an ember really ah okay don't kill me now oh i'm in a corner of death this is such a corner of death oh my god okay Note to self, don't get stuck in a corner. Alright, I'm back, and that was an epic fail. I should have never tried to open that chest. That was just stupid for me to try. Okay, ah. See, this is the problem, man. Too much shit. Alright, kill each other, please. Just murder, murder, murder. Don't come after me. Fight them. Oh my god. The frame rate is kind of dropping right now. Why am I going back into the corner of death? Oh my god. There's two cargoes now? This is crazy. Where did the other one come from? Okay, let's let's fight. Where's the Mimics at, man? This is stupid. Come on, Mimics. Did they go back to sleep? They went back to sleep, these bastards. Ah, uh, stop sleeping on the job. I want to fucking be epic and shit. Rah! Get up and help me, please. Pretty, please. Help me kill these bitches. Uh, maybe they won't attack? Oh, yeah, they're coming after me. I don't think they're going to attack these women. Well, that sucks. Okay, got to get the fuck away from all this chaos. And try to deal with this, maybe. Alright. I'll take out the freaking gargoyles first, maybe. Alright, back up. Oh, God. This is not good. Yeah, this is really not good. Ah! Get up. Ah, see, it's the problem. I'm getting stunned and now I'm trapped. There's just too much shit everywhere. Ah, see, I was trying to be all cool and epic because I've been doing a lot of these little strategies where I get the enemies to kill each other and make, like, fighting certain parts easier, which, you know, it's not hard. It's only hard when you fucking get yourself stuck in a box like this. Oh, my God. I'm going to have, like, no potions for the boss either once I get there. If I run out, I'm just going to probably reset, honestly, because this boss hits really fucking hard. There's no doubt about that. Fuck you, li women. Get away from me. Ugh, God. This is so annoying. Uh, it's the pyromancies, man. They're stupid. Oh, my God. Just stun me every fucking time. 
I can't fucking move. Uh, well, you know, I think people want it rage. They're getting it now. Fuck off. Die, please. Thank you. Now I need to kill this bastard real quick. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, stamina. He should stun. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna smash his ass. And he's a goner. Fucking A, man. Absolutely terrible. Okay. I'm gonna reset, probably. Because, um... I'll just get all the items and stuff. And then I'll say, fuck it. Oh, my God. These women are just annoying. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Fuck you. Get that stupid dagger shit out of here. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> I like that. That was actually really weird looking. That backstab? What the fuck? Alright. Well, that was pretty much the worst thing I've ever done. Hit that bastard real quick. Charge it up again. Hit him again. And he's already a goner. Alright, give me your shit, please. Thank you for the great shield of glory. Rah! Get up, bitch. Get the fuck up. Rah! Okay, one more hit should do it. Yeah, try to eat me. Now die. Alright, see how easy that was? Fucking A. It's actually pretty easy when you do it the legit way and not try to be all freaking cool like me, which... It wasn't cool at all. It was actually really pathetic. All right, let me just run over here real quick, but I really don't think there's anything over here, so let me just take a look. Are you guys guarding anything? I don't think they are. And there was a gargoyle. I think he already came down, though. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and Homer Boner the fuck out of here. That way I can, you know, restore all my shit, and then I'll go fight the boss. So I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, let's do this, yeah. I think we're gonna get a cutscene. And I'm actually gonna watch this cutscene, just because why the fuck not? Yom, old friend. Hi. Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina have come to uphold my promise. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Alrighty! Go get him on the suit guy! Now, this did not happen the first time I actually fought this guy. So I'm assuming you have to talk to the onion suit guy every single time. You said onion suit guy? Yes, the onion suit guy. He's over here. My girlfriend, she freaking loves this guy. I don't know why. Okay, I need to hurry up and find this freaking weapon. The storm ruler. Where the fuck is it? Okay, I think I see it. There it is. Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. Oh my god. He's very, very cute. Yes. Okay, but he's getting his ass kicked, so we gotta be careful. Naha, naha. I hit so much harder than you, onion suit guy. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, fuck you, asshole. Fall down. Nice. It's kind of cool how he has one of these as well, so he can help. Charge up. Charge up. There we go. Uh, oh, you know what? This sword basically does not consume any FP. That's kind of good. I hope he doesn't get murdered, because he's getting fucked up over there. But he's taking all the aggro off of me. So that's actually pretty cool. Fuck him up! Oh god, he's on me now. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, I gotta back off. Let me alone. Yeah, get on his ass. No, you hit him before he hits you. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Yeah. Okay, I done goofed. Hold up, hold up. Charge it up. Come on, come on, come on. As you can see, this fight's actually pretty simple, especially if you have the onion suit guy to help. Sidworth, I mean. Ugh. You like this, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's chug lugging. Ugh. We got him! Yeah! We go to jump full of joy! And he's gonna sit his ass down. I like this moment when he sits down. You like it when he sits down? Oh yeah, that's great. Okay, now, wait a second. Let me 
just check this room out for a second and then I'm gonna go and talk to him and see what's up let me also switch my weapon back okay now where is my exile greatsword I think it's like right here yeah it's really close so let's go and talk to him I'm pretty sure this is the end of his quest line now what's up bro <sighs> It seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. Alrighty. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so am I gonna get the cutscene though? Okay, the cutscene did not trigger. Let me talk to him again. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do really after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Alrighty, cool. Ah, unkindled one. The fire fades and awaits its one last lord. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Well, alrighty, we are here. I need to talk to this lady real quick. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. Okay, now I don't know exactly what that's about, but it's a little bit weird. I noticed this in my last playthrough. Once you get to this part, like the dialogue, it's like all messed up or something where it seems really, really low compared to earlier when I was talking to Sidworth and stuff. I don't know though, it's strange. Okay, let's mess with this thing and fight the next boss. This boss is probably gonna kick my ass. Oh God. God, I'm scared. Okay, let me do this. Let's do a little bit of damage. Try to avoid the bitch if I can. But yeah, the dancer is no joke. Pretty much, no matter what level you are, this bitch is a bitch. All right. Luckily, you can block a lot of her attacks. Okay. I hope I actually have all my potions. I don't know if I do or not. I should have maybe rested that bonfire. Honestly, maybe I should wait until I'm like lower in health because she does buff I'm pretty sure and I don't know if she's doing it yet But right now she's only using the one weapon and eventually she's gonna use the two and that's when the fight gets like stupid All right, let's go Fuck you and here it is. I'm pretty sure Rah! Yep, there's the other weapon Now it gets really scary because that attack is stupid. I mean if you get caught by that, you're gonna take a lot of damage. Ah! Leave me alone. Ah! Now, her weapon's actually not bad either. It's pretty decent. I know a lot of people like it. I don't really use it much, but whatever. Okay. That's an attack that you can do a lot of damage to her when she goes for it, but it's not, um. You gotta just know that you're gonna get hit in the end, so you might wanna try to get away from it. Okay, got lucky that she missed. Just try to 
basically a uh, dodger as best I can. Okay, let me get away now. But yeah, dodger as best as you can. Because at this point, blocking just does not work very well, if I remember right. I tried before. Let me back off and heal. And uh, yeah, just try to get behind her by dodging and then counterattack when she's done attacking. And you should be able to do a little bit of damage. Oh god. Okay. Don't want to choke now at the end of the fight. That's always the worst. Fuck. And I'm choking now, of course. Ah, I'm choking bad now. Oh my god. Okay. Let me calm down. Because this is what always happens. Like, I swear. Like, they have like a fucking code or switch or something that they turn on when you get them really low. Oh, God, I can't counter. That's the problem. Okay, this is getting on my nerves now. Can I please dodge the bitch properly? And just get, like, two more hits in and then she's gone? All right, one more and she's done. There we go. Woo, okay. Well, that went pretty well. I was actually expecting to get my ass kicked. So I'm surprised I beat that on my first try, but, you know, hey, whatever. All right, so there's a bonfire here now, and there's also a ladder to go up to the next area. And like I said before, you can get access to this place pretty early on if uh, you kill the old woman, and then you can fight the dancer, and then you can come up here. And this place will pretty much give you, like, several really powerful weapons, and also you can, like, farm chunks and large shards and stuff like that. So it makes like the game a lot easier, at least the early parts of the game, a lot easier if you can actually get past this part and farm some of those items. And you get a lot of souls here too, which is nice. Okay. Now the question is, what the fuck is in that statue to make that blood? I don't know, but it's pretty creepy. Anyway, we're going to wait for this. A ladder is going to come down and then we can pretty much go up top. Now, I'm not actually going to go up top in this episode. Instead, I'm going to go and finish up another quest line. Because once you defeat the three Lords of Sender, you can finish up the Dark Moon Blade Girls quest line. Um, and then I'm going to go and join the Dark Moon Blades because, you know, I've actually messed up several, several times throughout the Noob's Guide. You know, there's a lot of little things I should have talked about or I should have really known about before I started. So I apologize for that. But uh, one of them I will quickly say, just a tip to anyone, is summon all of the NPCs. Because there's a lot of emotes, for example. The little, uh, you know, gestures and stuff that you can only get from summoning those NPCs. And the deal is this. If you want to get all the trophies, for example, you need all the freaking emotes. So, yeah, summon them. That's important. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but you should totally summon them and try to get invaded by all of them and all that kind of stuff. It will help you out greatly. Okay, and also, I figured out about the Dark Moon Blades and how to join them because if you remember, I was talking about there was like um, a bonfire I could see in the distance. It was in uh, Anurlando, and I didn't know how to get to it, and I was trying to figure it out for a while, but now I know because I was told, I think, during one of my live streams, so, you know, the live streams definitely help a lot for figuring stuff out, and that's what I should have been doing before I ever did the noobs guide, is playing through the game and talking through the live streams and trying to figure out as much information for myself. Alright, now, where we need to go is going to be the Undead Settlement. Because we're going to go back to the tree, basically. And then we should be able to uh, be summoned into that one girl's um, world. The Dark Moon Blade girl. And help her again. So, let's go here. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, well, I am back. Now, the question is this. And this is the part I'm not exactly sure about. Do I have to go to the top or the bottom? Because... I would think that you need to go to the bottom to fight this guy because the guy that we need to fight basically with the Dark Moon Blade girl is going to be like her grandfather or something like that. And it actually was the guy who was down here to join the uh, Mound Makers Covenant, the Mad Covenant or whatever. Um, yeah, so he's going to be the guy that we talked to to join that. And if you remember, he actually died when um, the tree fell on him. So... Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, but like I said, I'm not sure where we're going to find the summon sign. Is it going to be by the tree where he was, or is it going to be up top? So, I don't know. We're going to check it out, though, and hope that we can find it. Alrighty, now where the fuck is it? 
Oh, yep, yeah, it's right here. Okay, let's do this, yeah, buddy. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandad. Oh my god, she hits for like no damage, especially for having that fucking uh That's crazy. She's got the fucking uh S stock Dark Moon Blade and she hits for nothing. I hope she'll heal actually because this is crazy. Hey damn! I guess I'm supposed to freaking murder him. God, he's killing her like in two seconds! No! Get on me, bruh! Heal yourself, please! Jesus! Okay, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, what are you doing, bro? No, 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 no. Is that power within? Fuck him up. No, no, he can heal too. He's so powerful, this fuck, dude. Alright. I'm trying to get behind him. There we go, finally. Fuck him up. Alright, I'm gonna smash his ass now. No! Alright, come on. Backstab him for me. Let's go. I can't parry him. But I'd rather him be looking at me than her, so that's kind of good. Oh, what the fuck's he doing? Oh, he put out warmth? Fucking A. Not good. Yes! Got him again. Okay. Now I'm going to freaking smash him if I can. No. Yes, you're out, you little bitch. Alright, come on. Let me go again. I don't want him to parry me, although I have a freaking curve. Great sword, so he can't even parry me. I don't know what I'm talking about. And he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Granddad. See what I'm saying about my dialogue being all fucked up? It seems so low right now. I don't know what that's about exactly. Well, bye bye, girl. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I came down here. Because I thought that his armor would be down here. And I knew that it was in the game. So let's pick this up. It's the sunset set. And it actually is kind of cool in my opinion. Alright well I'm going to go back to Fire Link. And I'm going to see if I can talk to this girl. Because if she's there. Then she's probably going to pretty much just tell me some stuff. But I will go and join the Dark Moon Blades before I end this episode. So I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty so I'm back at Fire Link. And here she is. And she's got her legs open for me. Oh, baby, I love you. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight. Oh, God. Yeah, my dialogue's really low, and I swear, it, it only happens once you get to this part of the game. And I don't know, there might be a way to restore it, but it's so weird to me. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight, wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver, blessing of the moon upon your journey. No. Oh. Thank you. Let me talk to her again. If I may ever be of assistance, I am your knight forever and true. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Alrighty, well, let me go now and join the Dark Moon Blades. So I need to go somewhere over here real quick to Rondo Rondo, and I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well, I am here now. Let me go and pretty much try to figure out how to join these fuckers because I haven't done it yet, but this is what I was told. So I need to come over here and basically I need to lower this down because what the deal is is that there's going to be kind of like a fake bridge where you can't see it, but you can actually use it. And I think it's right here. Now there's a pretty good chance that I'm gonna die to gravity but this makes a lot of sense let's go oh god this is so scary bro Jesus Christ okay I am walking on air and there you go now to join the dark moon blades all you actually have to do is you have to have I think the gesture which I got from the girl and you get it from her like right away so that's good basically if you mess up her storyline it doesn't really make much of a difference and there is some stuff down there 
I think I seen something over here though. Oh, well, hello, Jesus, you look pretty creepy. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckon thee to such a place? Okay, looks like I can do it Nothing just from do. this. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Oh, awesome! Thou's journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Well, thank you very much. Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. You know what? You're full of shit because I fought a lot of Dark Moon Blades. I'm not the only knight. Okay, let me see what happens if I kneel. Oh, good blade of the Dark Moon. Welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. Okay, so I can offer the stuff. Um, let me talk to her. Long ago, our father Gwyn, lamenting the waning of the fire, became cinder of his own will. Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. Such is the will of father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who linked the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day, until the time of thy visit. Erdem taketh many forms, indeed. Alrighty. So soon, may the Dark Moon watch over thee. Okay, you know, that's actually really interesting, though, because what about the one girl who I just helped? Was she not a Dark Moon Blade? Or was she a former one? I'm kind of confused. Okay, let me hop down here and look for this item. I could swear I've seen one. Where's the item at? Oh, it's down there. Okay, yeah, this is like a fucking puzzle, and I fell. Fuck. Well, I missed one item. Let me go ahead and hop down here. Pick this up. Nice, the Painted Guardian stuff. That's pretty cool. Maybe the weapon was up there. Let me hop down again. Oh, God. Gravity sucks, bro. Sucks a lot. All right. Where is this taking me, I wonder? It's fucking scary. Oh, God! Gravity is working against me. Alrighty, well that sucked. One second, let me go ahead and throw on the silver cat ring real quick. I think I have that, right? Yes, I do. I got it from the one girl. So, this should actually help a little bit for this to reduce falling damage. Hopefully I won't get murdered right away. And yeah, you gotta be like super fucking careful coming down here, that's for sure. You gotta really line this shit up, otherwise you're gonna fall and die. And that's really terrible too, because I have like 200,000 fucking souls. And I was right, too. It is the Painted Guardian Sword. Cool. Okay, was there another item, though, that I missed? I'm not sure. But I do want to get down there. It looked like there was, like, something down there. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, like, a doorway or something? So, I'm assuming that there will be something. I'm hoping so. But you never know. See, now, this part looks really stupid. You know what? Actually, no. Here we go. Just walk off right here. What am I thinking? All right. Please land on it. Thank you. Man, I need to walk off in the middle here. Oh, God. There we go. And I think I'm good. And I can get all the way down to the bottom. No problem. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What the hell is this about? What's going on down here? There's a bonfire. Whoa. Okay. That is actually kind of cool. 
Yeah, makes sense now. Alrighty, well, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace So.